Hey all, and welcome to another edition of The Scoop, our first of 2021. And speaking of 2021, uh, first off, let me wish you all a very happy and healthy start to uh, the new year. Last year was uh, interesting, unusual to say the least, but I know that here at Sugar, we're rolling into 2021 with a huge amount of optimism uh, for the future. And so let's jump straight in here. Um, let's welcome my fellow Scoop hosts, uh, Rich Green, our Chief Product Officer and CTO, and Zach Sprackett, there, SVP of Products. Welcome, guys. Hi, Claire. Thanks for having us. Yeah, great to have you both here and happy and healthy 2021 to you both too. All right. Thank you. You so, as well. This release, gents, we've got a lot to cover off. So, you know, let's jump straight in and you know, I think in our industry, in many industries, frankly, at this time of year, lots of folks are out there set, laying out their predictions, you know, for what's coming and trends to watch. But for Team Sugar, and excitingly for our customers, this new year is all about Sugar Predict, isn't it, Rich? So why don't you tell the audience today a little bit more about what Sugar Predict is and what we have in store for our Sugar Cell users with the launch of this product? Sure thing, Claire. First off, I'm personally excited about these new predictive capabilities in Sugar Cell. We have been working towards this level of solution for quite some time, and it has now, uh, by the time you see this recording, seen the light of day. You know, the world doesn't really run on data. The world runs on the insights and perspectives that the data enables. And there's an inverse relationship with the amounts of valuable data and a person's ability to make sense of it. That is. The more you have, and it should be valuable, the harder it is to figure it out. And ultimately, insights about your business and guiding people through recommended next steps are far more valuable than the raw data, no matter how extensive. So we're starting off a new era of time-aware AI-powered solutions with Sugar Predict as a capability that's part of Sugar Cell now, but through the year, we'll be imbuing Sugar Predict capabilities into every one of our products ensuring that all of our products aid our users with insights that can grow their business. With this first release, users of SugarCell will be able to experience the power of Sugar Predict. We're now delivering AI-powered predictive capabilities for both the Leads module and the Opportunities module. And this means sellers can now have clarity of the likelihood of a lead to convert or an opportunity to close. The Sugar Predict platform leverages your lead and opportunity data as well as vast amounts of third-party data to provide incredibly accurate predictions on the likelihood of a lead to convert from marketing qualified to sales qualified or for an opportunity to close. This means lead development professionals and sales reps can focus on the deals more likely to close, saving time and ensuring focus on the right prospects and customers, while CROs can get added consistency regarding the behavior and execution of their organization. We have more capabilities waiting in the wings, and we'll be adding more AI-powered solutions in the next short months. And I can't stress enough how differentiated and valuable Sugar Predict is versus other companies offering AI capabilities in the CRM space. First, there's nothing you need to do to use it. While other companies offer a make-your-own AI snowflake solution with a toolkit-centric model, Sugar Predict just works. Our data scientists, our engineers do the hard work so you can just be more productive. And Sugar Predict is not a costly add-on set of capabilities. It's just more awesome capabilities in Sugar Cell. It's so great. You know, I've worked for many years in a marketing role, Rich, you know, working with my sales counterparts. And to know that this product is really taking the guesswork out and of what it is that we do that adds value to the business by way of leads and opportunities and allowing us to focus on the right kind of leads and opportunities is just phenomenal. And so huge shout out to the products team. You know, it's been less than six months. Can you believe it? <laughs> Since we acquired Node and to see those unique capabilities uh, embedded into cell, like you say, and not a separate toolkit like we see others present out there in the market and um, starting out with cell in such a short timeline. It's so exciting and I can't wait for our customers to get their hands on it. Yeah, thanks very much, Claire. I mean, it's, it's an awesome team. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I'm super proud of them. 
We all are rich. We, 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 we all are rich. They've done a phenomenal job in a phenomenal timeline. And speaking of doing a phenomenal job, we didn't stop at predict, did we, Zach, you know, with, with enhancements to sell. So talk to me about some of the other things that uh, the team has been working on with that, that our customers can take advantage of. Yeah, we were hoping to phone it in for the rest of the quarter with uh, the launcher predict, but no, 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 that wasn't enough. So we've added an awful lot more. Uh, for starters, we introduced the purchase history dashlet, where users can find the purchase goods and services for a given account anywhere in SugarCell, and probably more importantly, also in SugarServe. The nice thing about this is the dashlet is searchable, making it easier for sellers or service agents to see a customer's purchase history over time. They can also drill deeper into a given purchase by expanding it and it shows you each time that this product was purchased and the total that the customers have spent. And as you'd expect from Sugar, it shows all of this in the user's desired currency. And purchases can be sorted and filtered by date or price, and users can search for specific purchases right from the dashlet. In a single glance, they can visualize the entire purchase history, guiding them towards better interactions with their customers. Another really cool time aware feature is the new status on purchase line items. When a new duration-based purchase line item is created, like say a 10-seat add-on for a piece of subscription software that doesn't kick in until three months from now, the new status field on the purchase line item will adjust automatically as time marches on. No manual intervention is required. SugarCell takes care of all of this on your behalf, and you'll always know how a customer's duration-based purchases evolve over time. This is just another example of our no-touch vision. It sure is, Zach. It sure is. And, you know, I think having um, Cell take care of this type of information, you know, for sellers and service agents, knowing that they have that context at their fingertips, it, it allows them to do what matters most, which is focus on their customer, right? And so speaking of the customer and being a customer, let's move over uh, beyond um, prospects into uh, sugar serve. And last time we were together um, talking about our winter release, it was all about the launch of Sugar Live and our omni-channel capabilities. So Rich, where have we headed this quarter with the release in sugar serve? Claire, there's some cool improvements this quarter. First, in the Sugar Live console, Agents can now add notes and other items to a call or a chat record while still engaging with the customer versus at the end of the call or the chat. This improves agent productivity and accuracy, and it also improves the speed at which they can move on to the next thing. Agents can jot down in real time and not have to try and recall what happened after an interaction is complete. And we've also improved our automatic identification of customers calling in or initiating chats. This means agents can focus on issue resolution instead of searching and pulling up records. Now agents can more easily link a contact or a case with a caller. It's all part of our no touch experience for sugar users. And another great example, but this time for the service agents specifically, where they can spend more time focused on the customers, right, Rich? You bet. Uh, another big addition embeds the Sugar Live chat capability right inside the Sugar portal. It's super easy to configure. This allows you to implement chat-based services in the portal with no effort. And speaking of zero effort, we've also improved the click-to-call capabilities for outbound calling in Sugar Live, and we've streamlined the process for associating Sugar Live call recordings and transcripts with cases. Finally, we've implemented single sign-on between uh, Sugar Serve and Amazon Connect, which powers the Sugar Live functionality, enabling a seamless user experience for the agent. That's quite the list of uh, exciting enhancements for our customers to start taking advantage of. Um, and I know they'll be excited to get their hands on that. But changing gears, you know, let's move from uh, customer service over into marketing, uh, Zach. And, you know, in the last edition of The Scoop, um, we, we talked a lot about the new Nurture Builder that we launched within market. So where have we gone next? Yeah, Claire, um, as you know, right, one of our core missions is to make products that users love and products that users love uh, need to be continuously refined. So this quarter, we've made it easier than ever to adjust your active nurtures on the fly. The only constant in life is change. And even with careful planning, marketers are always making tweaks to improve engagement. And we wanted to make the process as easy and as fun as possible. Users can now add or delete nurture workflow steps, adjust step settings, update recipients, and make other necessary changes to in-flight nurtures. They can also pause a nurture while making changes to keep all of their data consistent. 
Let me add that this isn't just about usability, but really the impact it can have on engagement models. With our inline metrics visible inside the nurture, users can optimize and generate more engagement prospects and improve conversion rates with less effort than ever before. And that's a really huge benefit. And since you're one of our key beta customers for all these advancements in Sugar Market Claire, I hope you'd agree that it's another big step in generating high quality leads. It sure is, Rich. It sure is. You know, we here at Sugar, you know, we use Sugar Market in earnest and we've got some pretty sophisticated nurtures that we run across different audience segments and different uh, value propositions. And so knowing that, you know, the team now has the opportunity and the ability to optimize them in a very agile fashion, that that make, that just makes life a breeze uh, for, for the team. And, you know, being dynamic and being able to react to what's working and what's not in a very quick fashion, never been more important, right? Never been more important. All right, Jen. So we've covered the meat for sell, serve and market, but, you know, uh, here at Scoop, uh, we, we also like to talk about hidden gems and those under the radar features that not everybody might know about. Um, so let's start with you, Zach. You know, what would you say would be your favorite hidden gem from this release? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hopefully this one doesn't stay hidden for very long. For me, it's got to be the focus store. Uh, we've added this to the user experience across both SugarCell and SugarServe, and it's a radically better way of accessing data in Sugar, and we're really excited about it. We've added a new focus icon that appears when hovering on most links throughout the application, and clicking on the icon slides a focus drawer in front from the right, displayed a 360-degree view of the linked record. It gets you out of that whole you know, CRM data model uh, and into something that actually helps users to be able to do their job so much better. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're a sales rep just starting out your day and your first stop is your home dashboard to see all of your upcoming meetings. For each meeting, you wanna refresh your memory about all of the account and contact information and all of your past conversations with them. You probably also wanna check for any outstanding support issues and maybe touch base with your colleagues about any of the above. But rather than manually locating each of these records and scrolling or traversing multiple screens, the focus drawer lets you do all this without ever leaving your meetings list. You get a lot more relevant information in one place. I use Sugar every single day and I am in love with the focus drawer. It's such a cool feature, Zach. You know, it's so great to be able to provide that right information in the right context at the click of a button, right? And um, reducing the time and effort that, you know, our customers need to get their job done. So Rich, over to you and your hidden gem. Sure, Claire. I, I want to actually echo uh, Zach in that the focus drawer is really cool stuff. And it really highlights our energy and attention on further improving our UX design. Fewer clicks and more information presented in a way that enables you to see, assimilate, and act on information more quickly just makes this a more effective set of capabilities for our, for our users and customers. But you know, I'm, I'm a huge mobile fanboy because the world is powered by our thumbs. And I love that in Sugar Mobile, users can now ex access the contracts module and all of its features from any mobile device. You can access relevant fields such as start dates, status, terms and, and tags of a contract at any time, and even when you're offline. This was a highly requested addition by our Sugar Club members. Sellers rely heavily on contracts to close deals every day, and with sales teams even more distributed and remote than usual, and balancing the intersection of work and personal lives, this gives them anytime, anywhere access so they can review information and not miss a beat. It's very cool. And, you know, in the digital environment that we find ourselves in uh, right now, it's really important to be able to access stuff right from here. And I also love, Rich, that we're listening to our to our community out in Sugar Club to help drive uh, the kinds of improvements that your team are taking on in product. It's a really good reason why you, you guys listening and tuning in today, you really need to sign up if you haven't already. But before we close out this episode of uh, Sugar Scoop, you know, not content with a phenomenal release for our customers, we, we did have some interesting uh, M&A activity in the run up to the holidays last year that some folks will have heard about. I'm talking about the acquisition 
conditions of W systems and loaded technologies. And I, I'd love, Rich, for you to talk about a little bit about how these additions uh, at Sugar are really going to help drive some product innovation and, um, you know, enhancements. Sure, Claire. As many of you know, our partners uh, create a lot of really cool and valuable add-on solutions to the core of our sugar offerings. And W has brought us a portfolio of valuable and productive new features and functionality that we're adding right into the core sugar products. These include W Docs, W Maps, W Drive, W Referrals. We'll probably get rid of the W, but we're hard at work right now integrating them into our products. Absolutely. And beyond just the products, right? The W team is great. In addition to new product capabilities, between them and uh, the other recent partner acquisition of Loaded, we've really improved our ability to deliver projects globally. This gives us more opportunities than ever to work directly side by side with our customers. And working side by side with customers means that we get to better understand their challenges and to deliver fundamentally better solutions out of the product group. If you can believe it, Claire, we're just getting started. It's an exciting time to be a part of Sugar and to be a Sugar customer for sure. And so with that, I want to wrap up uh, this edition of, um, of the Scoop. And I want to thank Rich, yourself and Zach for helping our customers and prospects to understand the value of the release and, and the new product launch of Sugar Predict. As always, guys, everything that we have highlighted today and more um, is now available for you in the Sugar Cloud. And, um, you know, all information and documentation related to the release you'll find over at Sugar Club. And for those of you excited about what you hear, but who are potentially not using some of what we've described in your business um, or are not yet a sugar customer, just head to sugarcrm.com to learn more or get in touch, info at sugarcrm.com. We're here to help. And with that, thanks, gents. Um, it's an exciting time to be, um, to be a sugar customer. And uh, I'm excited about what you guys have got cooking for the next release already. Thanks for joining us. Thanks very much, Claire. Thank you. Thank you so much, Claire.